Hello, how are you today? It is chilly outside. <laughs> so I've actually got a chicken boiling on the stove and I was gonna do a gumbo, but I went a little late in the day and uh, we're going to eat dinner tonight for Valentine's Day ahead of all the cold weather. So I wanted to cook a little something and, uh, and I'm hungry. This is something real quick that you can throw together. Uh, your kids are gonna love this. These are pizza bites. So the first thing I wanna do, I've got a roll of breakfast sausage and I only need half of it. So I'm gonna cut it in half and I'll put it in my skillet and get this brown and crumbly. Now, as always, I wanna say something encouraging and positive. You know, I talked one time about, uh, do you know your spouse's love language? It's powerful when you know your spouse's love language. I promise you, it saves you a lot of heartache along the way. But do you know, I never really thought about it before, but about your love language changing. Mine has always been acts of service. When Joel does things to help me, oh gosh, it means so much more. I'm not one, I don't need gifts or fancy things. Um, but lately, I have discovered that uh, words of affirmation <laughs> mean a lot to me. I don't know. I guess whatever season in life you go through and it's life changes, but I want to tell you about the power in a post-it note. You may already do this. Leave little sticky notes for your spouse, just little things unexpectedly. Joel is great at that. He's always done that. Even when we were in high school, he would leave little notes on my car. Um, and it's just a special thing that he's always done, and I love it. If I'm traveling, there's gonna be a note in my suitcase. The other day, I was thinking, you know, I was going into our office to write our bills, look at our monthly stuff, and I was like, oh, goodness. You know, you ever just, do? I know every family, you have different things that are, quote unquote, your responsibility to keep up with. Who does the cleaning, cooking, yard, bills. And in our family, I do the bill. I was going in there and I looked down and I saw this note from Joel and it was just on my desk. It says, I don't know if you can see it. It just says, thanks for all you do with this every month. I love you, Joel. And I thought, oh, I needed that because sometimes you just get tired of just the normal stuff that's part of life and what you have to do. There's so much power in a little post-it note to your, your special person uh, to let them know that you do notice what they do, appreciate it. Because that's the worst place to get in is in a spot where you don't feel noticed or appreciated. So guess what? This now is right inside my desk drawer, right beside the little stack of bills. So I see it every day. So uh, it makes me smile. So power in the post-it notes. Get you some if you don't have a stack of them. I've got that sausage cooking and now I'm gonna get our dry ingredients. I need one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. One and a half. One and a half teaspoons of bacon powder. Should've got my half teaspoon measure out. That's about a half a teaspoon. One teaspoon of garlic powder. Pizza bites, so you gotta have garlic. Now whisk all that together. Then I'm gonna put in two eggs. Moving quick here. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure that you see those. I probably shoulda beat those up a little bit before I added them in here. Oh, I need some milk. I need a cup and a half of milk. I'm just whisking it together. I'm not gonna get the mixer out. I've just got my little whisk. Um, Cause you don't have to get this perfect. You don't worry about it being super smooth. So now we need um, a package of pepperonis. It works better if you can get those little miniature pepperonis, but uh, I do not have any. So, and these are turkey pepperonis. So a, a small package, I think it's like five ounces, is plenty. So what I'm about to do is just chop these up, make them smaller. I always put sausage, breakfast sausage, and pepperonis in mine, probably two cups. Hey. Okay. 
I'm gonna go with it though. Yeah, I'm gonna put all those in. And I have a bit of a problem here. See, I bought this bag. This bag of mozzarella cheese is two cups in here, it's eight ounces. Well, guess what? It's empty. Joel Davidson. He's gonna watch this and say, oopsie. So, I have gone through the cabinet and grounded up all my cheese. <laughs> Y'all are gonna laugh. You're supposed to have eight ounces of mozzarella, but I do not. But I have some sliced mozzarella. So I'm gonna cut it up, <laughs> put it in there, and we might have a little bit of cheddar. We're gonna make it work. <laughs> yep, Joel's gonna say, my bad. He, that boy loves cheese. So there is a little bit of mozzarella. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, I guess if I'm saving something for cooking for a recipe, I need to tell him or, oh, I know what I can do. Get my post-it notes out and say, do not eat. <laughs> but you know what? We're gonna make, we're gonna make do. We're gonna slice up this sliced mozzarella. There's more than one way to get things done, isn't it? <laughs> Think we're gonna be just fine. Throw in a little cheddar. But if you're going to the store to buy this recipe, grab your eight ounce bag of mozzarella. I'm trying to get this sliced cheese as small as I can. Hey, that works pretty good. And stir in that uh, breakfast sausage. It didn't have much grease in that, so I didn't even have to drain it. Mix it all together. That's all it is to it. Then I'm gonna spray my miniature muffin pans with some nonstick spray. All you do is spoon them out into your pans. It'll puff up some, but that's okay if it puffs out the top. Just fill it up. 375 degree oven for about 18 minutes. <laughs> All right, 18 minutes. And you got pizza, pizza bites. Let me see if I can't turn them out on this thing. Well, it's apparently very stuck. That cheese sticks to it, and so some of them, it, it's mostly unstuck, but where the cheese kind of cooks to the side, you might have to take your spoon and pop them out, but. See, little pizza bites are so good. And the, the good thing about these is um, you can make these, stick them in a Ziploc in your uh, refrigerator, your kids can eat on them for the week. I do now get you a jar of pizza sauce and, ooh, not that much. And while they're hot, or you can rewarm them, these are great, rewarmed in your air fryer. Your kids will think that this is fun. It's a fun way to eat pizza. And great to make ahead, keep in the fridge.